Keyshawn, it's so great to be here with you. So the investments around 5G and fixed wireless access were driven in part by a desire to better serve enterprise customers and ultimately create new revenue streams for operators. But, you know, so far CSPs haven't been able to capitalize on them. So what are you seeing in the market regarding enterprise behavior? And do you see this opportunity entering uh, the realm of possibility for the near future? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of investments have gone in by a lot of our telecom and you know, providers bringing up all the 5G you know, environments. Uh, they targeted for mobile devices, and now they're looking at ways to increase consumption. And so they started going down the path of deploying fixed wireless access. Uh, it works great, and I, I would in fact say, if you really look at the total market, there are about 100 million endpoints that are out there. It'll exceed and grow up to 300 million in the next couple of years. But a lot of these are still consumer market. When you start looking at enterprise market, there are additional requirements that enterprises want. They want a capability, um, that mimics their wired line you know, experience in terms of latency and you know, availability and band you know, and so forth. Um, so this is where I think technology that we bring in from VeloCloud Broadcom uh, and helping these customers achieve that level of parity with wired line will make a big difference, right? So I do expect a lot of the 5G providers using the VeloCloud technology to improve user experience, improve uh, customer satisfaction, and also have available revenue and monetization streams that they can add on. Okay, so let's talk about VeloCloud for a quick second. Why does it matter if there is a single vendor solution? That's, that's a great question. If you think about it, there are cases where a dual vendor strategy might make sense. Let's say a stack for networking, a stack for security. But when it comes to networking in this example, and we're talking about access medium, then a single vendor is it allows the, the technology that the vendor offers to be able to deploy it end to end and, and actually deliver that benefit, right? So you're looking at an environment where, whether it is the CPE, whether it's the 5G access and everything in between, connecting that user to the application that this vendor can basically provide uh, seamlessly. So being able to recognize applications, being able to prioritize business critical applications is all possible when you have a single vendor that does this. Excellent. And so, how will a product like VeloSky change um, the way enterprises leverage technologies like AI? And in the world that we are in right now, AI is becoming more and more prevalent. We're looking at just data for you know customers that were connected to our service. A year ago, you'd say about 20% of uh, your customers were deploying some form of AI. Today, that number has grown to 60%, and we only expect more and more customers to basically adopt AI. Uh, further, the way uh, you know, the environment itself is set up, you have a lot of agents that are going to be communicating to each other, so you're going to have a full um, agentic AI framework, and so the network becomes even more critical in order to serve these agentic AI requests. Um, so with VeloSky, again, we want to make sure that we are able to provide that level of access, we're able to have recognition of agentic traffic, prioritization of agentic traffic, and be able to uh, you know, use that technology to deliver a better service. Excellent, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.